Hello friends, welcome to another HP ALM or Quality Center tutorial. In this video, I will show you how we can execute test case in Quality Center test lab. Before I start, I give you the brief background about the Quality Center. Okay, in Quality Center, we keep the test case in the test plan folder here in the test plan and we pull all the test case from the test plan to test lab to execute the test case during the execution. Okay. So for that what I have done is like I have created a demo unit and you can see as on the screen the demo unit is already created. In this demo unit what I have done is I have pulled the test case from quality center test plan. Okay. As you can see on the screen we have a four test case or four sample test case on the screen which I am going to run and I will show you how uh, we can mark pass and fail status for all these four test cases. Okay. Now. Uh, let's pick the test case uh, as I click on the test case test case one I see the option over here like here uh, select tests that means to select the test case from the quality center test plan the second option is run and the th third option is the test set okay if I click on the run option what it, it will do now we will see uh, when I click on the run button I click on the run button and it opens manual runner window it is loading it it takes time okay it connects to the server and it takes time to load the manual runner window sometimes you can see on the screen the manual runner window is being loaded here we have option of uh, starting the run okay the, if you click on the run button the session the run session will end over here and it will not uh, mark the test cases pass or fail rather it will mark the test cases not completed let me show you this also okay I click on the run and run button it will still uh, take some time okay now you see uh, when I clicked on the run but end run it uh, updated the status is not completed okay again I click on the run run option now the window is being loaded properly and I see the option begin run ok so second option I already told you so we will we'll start with the begin run now begin as soon as I click on the begin run it will again open another window of the manual runner the view will be different and you now here you can see the steps the verification point and everything regarding the test case you can see here ok um, here you will see an option fail if you click on this button you will see option fail selected fail all the same for pass selected pass all okay and here in the last you see the option end run now I will show you the significance of each uh, option if you click on the pass selected pass selected the means whatever step you have selected like in this case we have selected step 1 uh, so it will pass only that step okay it, that means if I say select a particular step and I click on this pass selected that particular step of quality center test case will be passed marked as passed okay now we talk about the second option second option is pass all so in, case, in a particular test case we have seven to eight test cases or multiple test steps okay so what it will do it will mark all test step within a test case as pass okay so I click on pass selected first okay it, it the status you can see it has updated the status as pass over here with the execution date and time uh, current date and time okay if I select the second option is failed selected it will mark the step as failed okay now what I do is like I will show you the second option pass all or uh, fail all for the another test case where we have multiple uh, test steps. So I click on the end run button. Remember we have failed the test case number one. So you see the status is being failed over here with the execution date and time. Now let's move on to the next test case we have multiple test steps. Again I click on the run option in quality center test lab. It will take some time again to load manual run and window.
and I click on begin run here we have three steps okay here if I click on the pass select selected th this particular step will only be passed now you see the same difference only step one is being passed since it, it was selected when I click on that option okay now th on the second step if I click on failed selected only step number two will be failed only step number two is failed now uh, I click on the third option fail all what it will do it will fail all the step of this world this test case now you see it has failed mark it has failed all the step of this particular test case with execution date and time okay the same way we can do it for uh, pass all also yeah this way it has updated okay now here we have an end run option just click on the end run button and it has updated the test case 2 as passed with execution day and time so friends this is the way the test case in quality center are being executed and the test results are being updated in quality center test lab thanks for watching my video if you find this tutorial useful please click on like button and do share it with your friends you would also like to subscribe to my channel or visit my website whose URL is flashing on top of this video for getting the latest update. Once again, thank you.